So welcome back to the channel. I'm Chiggs and I hope you're all having an amazing day. So this is the brand new Doogie S88 series. It's the S88 Pro. It's a brand new rugged smartphone by Doogie priced under 200 and offers features like IP68 certification, military standard 810G, wireless charging and a massive 10K battery. So we've got a brand new smartphone to unbox and I've also got a special custom case to go with it. So let's just get these open, shall we? So custom case comes with a screen protector and here it is. It's actually made from a combination of plastic and what feels like metal. And that is basically it. Inside the smartphone box, you will find a 3.5 millimeter to USB type C, which means the smartphone's not gonna have an audio jack. You've got a wrist strap over here, USB type C cable, a USB fast charger is included in the box and I believe it's a 24 watt charger. So inside this enveloped pouch we have Screen protector, some wipes, user manual, warranty information, etc. And, and we've got a pry tool. I've got no idea why a pry tool is included. We'll see why shortly. And here is the smartphone itself, people. So it looks like we have a screen protector already applied. So I'm just going to peel off the top layer. So nice to have a screen protector already applied. So you don't need to get another one. And I believe the one applied is actually a hard tempered glass screen protector. So you're getting a spare flimsy type, but there's a tempered glass attached for your convenience. So here is the smartphone itself. Um, I chose the army green color. So you've got a black and green finish. The smartphone is made from a combination of metal. So all of these green shiny parts are made from metal, including the parts surrounding the cameras. And over here, you've got some eyes which light up. So you've got some breathing lights. The rest of the center of the body is made from a rubberized plastic, very rugged, strong material. So this phone is ultra tough, military standard 810G, IP68 waterproof. Um, and I guess this case is supposed to give you more protection. Seeing how thin and light this case is, I'm not too sure about that. I can see that the bumpers get a little bit extra, but as it is, it's already a tough, rugged smartphone. So if you do put this case on, it's gonna be for the design or the look of it. So you can see you get more of a metallic design when you add the case. So more than anything, it aesthetically looks better. You've got a 6.3 inch IPS LCD display with 410 pixels per inch. Now this phone is powered by the MediaTek Helio P70. You've got the Mali G7 II for graphics, six gigs of LPDDR4 RAM, along with 128 gig internal storage. Now this does have a micro SD card slot supporting up to 256 gigs. So we've got triple cameras on the back, a 21 megapixel primary Sony sensor, eight megapixel ultra wide, and another eight megapixel sensor for your portraits. And on the front, we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera and it's located on the teardrop. Now let's have a quick look at the camera app. So fairly straightforward, you've got mono, which is monochrome photos. We've got video mode and quick look at settings of video mode. So here are your options, maximum resolution 1080p and no mention of stabilization. So you can zoom in two times while shooting video. Here is your photo mode, maximum 21 megapixel photos. Now the first photo is a low light shot in my office and you can see it hasn't done a good job, but most of the outdoor shots look okay. And outdoor selfies are also not bad. Shutter speed is actually quite slow. So we're taking a fairly standard shot. And while they're spinning, you can't take another picture. So each photo takes two to three seconds to actually process. Now when shooting with the wide angle lens, unfortunately every single shot was blurry, be it indoor, outdoor, good lighting or not. Every shot had blur. So not a great wide angle lens. You've also got beauty mode and also a dedicated bokeh mode. Every single bokeh shot was a totally blurry mess. So I wasn't successfully able to take a decent uh, bokeh shot with this camera. You've got pro mode and finally night mode.
So what else do we have? We've got dual SIM 4G LTE, Bluetooth version 4. You've got built-in NFC, a side fingerprint sensor. So I will test that out for you. So the side fingerprint sensor works pretty well. It does a good job at unlocking the smartphone. You've got a volume rocker and a power button just above it. And the buttons are made from metal. You can see the buttons have this textured surface, which feels pretty good to the touch. Bottom of the smartphone, you have your charger port. So I guess that's where this tool comes into play. It's not going to be easy to open the latch with your fingernails. So USB Type-C port and a latch to cover it. On this side, you can see it says shock proof. You've got two more buttons here, and these are actually customizable buttons. So the top button here, I've already customized. So every time you press it, it will open the camera. You can also customize it to do other actions, such as long press, and it will open YouTube. So that's how I set it. It's a custom key function on press camera. You can select any application you like or long press YouTube. And again, you can select any other app you like. There's a button underneath it. And when you press that one, it's an emergency button. It can do any of these functions. If you didn't want it for emergency rescue, you can actually customize this key as well. So again, single press any app you like. I'm just going to choose something like Google Play Store and long press. You can have again, anything you like. Maybe you're someone who likes to record sound on the go. So long press and it will open up sound recorder and i'll show you that in action so it's single pressing the bottom button and you get your google play store and if we keep that bottom button pressed it's going to open sound recorder so you've got two buttons that can be completely customized and just above it you have your micro sd card sim slot and again pry tool needed and here you have a hybrid sim tray so it will either take two nano sim cards or one nano sim card and one micro sd card up to 256 gigs and on the top of the device you have nothing so that is pretty much all the ports and connections so how does it feel in my hands it's definitely a thick phone it's rugged we're looking at 18.7 millimeters thick and weighs 372 grams uh, so quite a thick durable phone just want to do a quick sound test so the smartphone has a single loudspeaker at the bottom on the back so just over here if we cover it so it's quite a decent sound and it's quite loud and clear as well. So decent single loudspeaker in the smartphone. So we are running stock Android 10 and I like that there's not much bloatware included. You've got the very minimal apps that are required and then you can see the whole bunch of games and apps that I've downloaded myself. So minimal bloatware included, which is certainly a good thing. You do have a game mode. So if you tap on that, it will basically block all incoming calls and give you a dedicated game mode. All right, so let's have a quick look at the settings. So we got your network, connection info, apps and notifications, battery. You've got your breathing light switch where the three color breathing lights on the back will get activated. So you've got SMSs, incoming calls, charging switch and music switch. So I want to test out the charging switch. So if we plug in a USB-C charger and we see the breathing lights better. So you can see it looks like a pair of eyes. And again, the design of the Doogie Rugged range reminds me a lot of the Transformer movies. So definitely a fan of that. Now you've got sound, storage, privacy, location, security. So you've got your screen lock and fingerprint sensor. Um, we also have face unlock. So I've already activated it and I'll show you it in action. One or two second delay. Uh, I would say there's a kind of second delay before it registers a face and unlocks a smartphone. And of course, you've got the side fingerprint sensor as well. So what else do we have here? We've got accounts, accessibility, emergency and rescue. You've got your gesture settings. So three finger screenshot, gesture motions and smart motions. So that's fairly straightforward. Three fingers to activate the screenshot. So if you slide three fingers, you'll get a screenshot. You've got gesture motions. So here I'm in the launcher. I'm waving my hands. Oh, it worked there. OK, but you get the general idea. So that was my full overview of the Doogie S88 Pro. So my initial impressions are performance wise, it's pretty decent. I was able to use all my usual apps and games with no performance issues at all. And if we talk about benchmarks in Geekbench, we achieved a multi score of 1133 and in Antutu 2, we achieved 172 K. So on my top performing smartphone chart of 2020, the Doogie S88 Pro ranks at position 50. So this looks like the cheapest IP68 rugged smartphone you can currently buy for under 200 pounds. 
performance is decent for a budget smartphone, you are able to play games like PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9 on medium graphics settings. And the gameplay is pretty decent with minimal frame drops and it's actually quite playable. Now the triple cameras are not impressive. I don't see any point of having triple cameras if they're not going to give decent results. You may as well take a page out of the pixel book and use just one very good sensor instead of three poor sensors. So the primary sensor is just decent to take photos in good lighting situations. Now battery life is insane. 10,000 milliamp hours means this phone with medium usage can last you more than four days. Now Doogie is quoting a 200 hour standby or 21 hours of gaming, which is quite incredible. Now I also like the fact that this is a real super rugged smartphone that is nearly indestructible. The smartphone is designed to withstand extreme temperatures from minus 55 to 70 degrees Celsius. It's water, dust and shockproof. And in the Doogie Labs, it's been drop tested over a thousand times on different surfaces. It's built to last in all terrains and environments. So this was my first impressions of the Doogie S88 Pro. For under 200, you're getting a tough phone which can survive nearly everything you put it through and still give you enough performance and battery power to potentially last you more than four days. Of course, depending on what you do on it. So if you do want a follow up review or any questions on this smartphone, then smash the like button and let me know in the comments. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one.